Energy low. Energy critical. Help me. We've successfully landed on the planet and made a little bit of a progress moving towards the facility. Unfortunately, we got ourselves in a little bit of a predicament because driving a rover is still weird in the game, which resulted in me smashing the front of my battle box off. So I feel vulnerable now. I think it'll be easy for them to just shoot me down and get me out of here. So, it would be good to make some repairs, right? Unfortunately, I've got 5% of fuel to fly around. I, um, I don't see any um, resources spots around. And I don't see any hydrogen source, which could be problematic. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to hunker down and try to find a base or... Um, establish a base or should I just rush them and hope for the best? If I'll have an update on that, I'll let you know. I ended up establishing the base because things were missing. And would you believe that I actually fucked up? Anyway, there was there's element deposits quite a bit around and they were right in front of the uh, rover, but they weren't iron. So I found an iron deposit um, a kilometer away, so it's fine. We did it. We found also a bunch of other things, but that's not really necessary. Could you believe it that I fucked up? I didn't actually bring enough supplies to build what I needed. I didn't bring enough motors to build an assembler. I didn't bring enough motors to build um, the survival kit kit either. So I had to improvise, I had to uh, survive like I did on the moon, only I didn't have to worry about the oxygen or that much power. So I was able to build the turbine, build the refinery, but I wasn't able to build assembler. I had to scavenge uh, rotors off of the suspen motors, motors off of the suspension, off of the parachute and deploy blocks or whatever they are. Um, eh, what else? I had to scavenge girders off of the solar panels to build another one because one uh, turbine was not enough to supply power to uh, power the assembler. Assembler takes one megawatt, I think, and one um, uh, turbine provide, provides 500, or at least in these configurations, uh, it provided 500 and something. So it was enough, and I, I needed another one. I plugged it on the level with the other one. And it wasn't enough, so I raised it by one, and that was sufficient then. Now the refinery is running, trying to refine whatever's left, which is probably either some iron and nickel or just nickel. So that's not enough to uh, run with the um, uh, what is it Sp survival kit again on this at the same time. But it is flashing from time to time. So if if I manage to click it on time. Uh, when I'm dead, I should be able to spawn. Also, once uh, the whole thing is refined, I won't have that problem. So, um, no power problems. We've got enough to keep us running forever, because um, wind isn't really something that runs out. I put in some... Uh, which could I could put on ladders. We've got ladders. We actually have ladders. What would it take to put on ladder? Plates, construction components, and small steel tubes. Well, hmm. 
Nah, fuck it. I already have these and I've got some plates with me, so if the need arises I can just uh, build some scaffoldings to climb up. We've got ladders again, I completely forgot about that, because who would have remembered uh, about ladders? I did change uh, a little fr the front a little bit to give us a little, little like a uh, clearance maybe, maybe, and the uh, uh, suspension guard and also a little, little whatever, this, whatever would you would call this, like a little roof to deflect bullets possibly. There's no deflection here anyway, so just you know reduce damage a little bit more armor I guess. So all we get to do now is hop in and start going again. Good. I didn't manage to get any uh, hydrogen though, but that's not a big problem, that's not a big issue. So screw that. Let's hop in and let's go. It's night now, but it doesn't matter. Right, this, uh, disengage brakes. And let's roll that motherfucker. Right, I'm pretty sure I forgot to mention uh, I didn't explain it enough in the previous episode, the whole thing with the with my big ship in my other survival. So uh, the big ship was supposed to be a base and a combat vehicle at once, right? So it's heavy, heavily armored and I needed it to be capable of large production. So I stuck a refinery on it and then I stuck another and I was planning on having a refinery dedicated to every mineral or whatever or ore because stone is not really a, a mineral, neither is something else, I think. Well, ice isn't, but yeah, it just does, it, it's just stone that's need, that needs refinery and isn't an element. So there's that. Um, so I stuck two refineries on it, and it was getting the ship was getting longer, and I stuck two more, and it's and it was starting to. Uh, take up very um, quite a bit of space so instead of making like 10 or 9 I, I um, settled on uh, 4 refineries and when you stick 4 refineries in anything it stops being very compact because I was hoping the ship was gonna be compact and very combat like but it, it isn't it isn't, that was the problem and then also I stuck on 4 more assemblers which still have the issue and the issue is, some time ago they introduced a cooper cooperation mode. And the cooperation mode, what it does is that it queues the item that the, the master assembler is producing right now in the other assemblers, if they're cooperating. But the problem is, to cooperate, those assemblers must be directly connected with the master assembler. So if you have a pipe between any of that, it won't work. And I do have a pipe between those, and it doesn't work. So I've got two master assemblers and two in cooperation, and uh, it would be the best for me if I actually did utilize both both of them, because I've got four, and I'm not, and I wouldn't be using that, and that's shit. So I have to keep that in mind. Mind, it's still a bad solution. Um, shit, that doesn't look like I can really get over to that mountain this way. Shit, it really is. Oh. <laughs> really isn't. I'm gonna have to go around I think and which means that I'm gonna have to uh, go underneath the turret of the pirate base and I don't know if I'll be far away enough or maybe I'll just give it a preemptive strike maybe with my turret no be it also you saw how uh, my descent went and that's something to mention too, because the problem with my descent was that it wasn't very good. I st I was wondering, I never used it before really, so I was thinking to myself, what would I need, what would I need to lower this vehicle down? How many parachutes, to be exact? So there is a calculator on the internet talking about it telling you how much you would need based on mass and, and grid, you know, the, the reasonable one like, it, it seems... What am I trying to say? It looks legit, it looks like it should work, it takes into consideration all the variables it should. 
So I plugged in the mass of this rover and it turned out to say that at 6 meters per second I'll be um, falling down with one parachute. One parachute will be enough. I stuck four and deployed two and it wasn't. I deployed two because the other two weren't finished when I was uh, doing the thing. If only I had some way of telling the distance between the things. You know what? I'm gonna try to shoot the thing. Fuck it. Um, would that be this one? Um, where's the control button? Custom date, there it is. No, it's the other one. So we've got a turret there. Let's see if I can hit it. Maybe let's save before that. Just in case. Just in case. The red is a light, not a an impact crater. Doesn't look like I'm doing it. So I guess I can keep moving. And if it will start shooting me, or maybe I'll just fix the thing. Because I've got the turret set and to it's set to uh, aim at things 600 meters away away instead of um, 800 that would be max so if i'm shooting i know i'm in range and if they're shooting when i'm shooting i know they've got 800 meters of aiming damn that doesn't look like i'm gonna get there that way fuck i'd rather mm. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. fucking hell that's really Okay, well, shit. We'll try to find a way. Maybe we will. One way or another, we have to get there. <coughs> yes, it's a bit. Right. What was I talking about? Something about. Yes, the parachutes. So it said that the, calcula the calculator said that one uh, parachute would be enough, and it wasn't. And I deployed two, and I wasn't really slowing down much. And the other two weren't completed when I was setting up uh, the two uh, that I did when, uh, when I told them to... Uh, ah, there it is, 800. Control that. Uh, turret, this one. Where's the button again? Jeez. There it is. Where are we shooting? Where are we shooting at? There it is. War is going. I should be real only now. Take down the fucking turret. Don't just shoot whatever, shoot the turret. That will let us live. We'll avoid damage thanks to that. There it is. Alright. Um, uh, stop shooting. It's always so hard to control. It's always so hard to control those automated turrets. It helps when you've got a crew and they actually physically and personally um, control them so you can direct the fire at specific points and also how much ammo do I have left? I quite a bit left. Alright, that's fine. Everything's uh, going on fine. So, what is this? I don't know what the button does. I think it's on and on or maybe control, I don't know. Can I control it when it's turned off? So that would tell me things. And uh, tear it again. No, I can't. Alright, that's fine. At least I'm not wasting ammo. So let's try going. That was successful, so let's save. Ah, fucking hell! Why are you doing this to me? Don't shoot. Ah, man. both off now. All oh, right, what damage did I take? Merge block, that's that's fine. Um, I shouldn't be crushing into it. Some dense um, thing. The important parts are still working, so that's good. Uh, yeah, I'm mostly intact, mostly. Good. Right. What was I on about again? Something smart. 
having crew and turrets is good. Yeah, you should remember that. Right, uh, the descent. So, parachutes deployed, but only two. And of course, since they were in the front and not on the back, or in the back, um, you know, the whole thing got tilted and that wasn't uh, helping. So, fortunately, I did have a gyroscope smartly put on. So, I could correct for that, and that, w that also reminded me, well, and I utilized the hydrogen engine I stuck on it. And thanks to that, I did dampen the fall a little bit, I guess. Well, I did, it was dampened enough or slow enough that I didn't really need, I didn't break anything. Not a broken wheel, not a broken anything, not a dented anything. So it was a successful descent, after all. And then I was, I, I, I didn't know what was going on. The rover wasn't going, but it turns out I had when you when you press the button that locks uh, landing gears and connectors together, it locks brakes too, and I used that to try to disengage back in space, so that way it wasn't going. But I know that now. Now I remember that, so I can so I fixed it, and now we're going again, and now we're here and shit. So yeah, I'll try to find the way up there, cause boy, if I won't, that's not really winning, is it? Okay then, see you once I get in position, I guess. Energy low, energy critical. Help me!